Hello, Kyla the Costumer here. As you can see, I have finished my grill cosplay. And if I can move crap around my room, I can show you the full. I can't. I guess I can show you the full thing if I just move the camera down. There we go. See the shirt. We got the vest. Uh, both were lucky. The shirt, vest, and pants for extremely lucky Goodwill finds. Um, the coat I had to sew myself. The wig was a bargain at Amazon.com. And lastly, uh, the glass chain with the skulls on it was a, uh, a another thing I made myself. There's another thing I made myself. You can see the detail. I'm gonna lean in so you can see the detail on it. I can imagine if they made a more realistic looking grill, that's what its glasses chain would actually look like. Never mind, I'm totally BSing. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, now, the last piece is going to take quite a while. Um, this is the, this is Grell's chainsaw. It is pretty spectacular, if I do say so myself, for being made with parts from a toy chainsaw, a uh, foam board, and some duct tape. Yeah, that's all this is. Well, I did use a wooden, actually I'm talking about I did use a wooden dowel for the handle and a pencil for the, uh, for the for the handle as well. But the rest, tot I used a couple pieces. The only two pieces of wood were used in this entire thing. It's very lightweight. And to top it off, watch this. This is gonna be. You gotta see this. This is gonna be amazing. It doubles as a purse, which means I can stick my stuff in there her and be on the go. And but the I am running into a problem though. If anyone has advice for me on how to uh fix the uh the threading issue. I'm thinking about putting tape on it or something, maybe a plastic needle or something. But yeah, it just takes a while to rethread. Um, now another issue I've run into is that might take the, make the chainsaw take a little longer than expected is these. See these little wires here. The red wire. There are two little wires on the uh, on that. Those are actually very fairly important because when I connect the two. They do this. Can you hear that? They make a somewhat chainsaw noise as and jiggle it a little bit, and uh, as the m motors and stuff move inside of it, and it jiggles a little bit. Now I'm not going to show you the inner working mechanisms because I'd like to keep that a little secret. Just a little secret, that's all. And uh, FYI, I have to wear makeup with this costume as I have frequent acne problems. Anyway, point being, that's due to my autism probably, I don't know. Point being, I have the entire costume together. I refuse to get the teeth. Those are going to be a pain in the ass. Now I don't need that. Not even as grill do I need that. <laughs> Plus my teeth are already very similar. See? A sharp point there. See I got a bit of a sharp point there so it's kinda grillish anyway. I can't wear the contacts because these are actually my prescription glasses, not some random grill glasses I bought off the internet. These are literally my prescriptions. 
as you can, uh, you've probably seen them from the other videos. And my eyes are not wearing contacts right now. They're they're literally that color. So um yeah. They don't. I don't need to buy. I don't need to buy the contacts and fake glasses. I I'm good the way I am facially. Minus minus the makeup. I need to cover that up. Anyhow, so yeah, this is my girl cosplay. Hey, um, I'm gonna do a little back view for you. Let's see here. Oh, and I need to get a new ribbon. I can't find. You would not believe how hard it is to find thick red and white striped ribbon with the wet, with the red and the white stripes running horizontally to each other. Seriously. Anyway, time to show you guys the back view. Ew, bossy. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Um, yeah, the wig's pretty long. It looks short from the front. But it's actually pretty long in the back, so you can see. It's a bitch to work with, but I, uh, I do love it. I love my wig. But yeah, um, this is the, uh, entire Sebastian, or, I mean, this is the entire Grell cosplay. <sighs> Minus the makeup and the shoes, uh. The shoes, where the hell did I put them? Oh, there they are. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put on the gloves as well. Oh, well. Simple black gloves from uh, Goodwill, another lucky Goodwill find. Men's shoes, I dressed up with red duct tape to look, to give that, that pattern that Grell shoes have. Now, when it comes to cosplay and shoes, here's my advice: if you can't, if you can't walk comfortably in heels for long periods of time, don't wear them. At conventions, comfort is key. That is the biggest thing. Comfort is key with cosplay. That's why I chose men's shoes. One, they're in my size. Two. For second, I can't, I have very poor ankle strength. So, that's it for now. Um, I plan on going to Phoenix Comic Con if I can in full. I plan on having a few friends meet, meet up for that. And uh, those friends, you know who you are. And... Yeah, the, a big shout out to my parents who, uh, they bought me, uh, fun, my parents and my friend, and my friends who bought me Black Butler merchandise. You know who you are. You're fabulous. Stay that way. And, yeah, um, lastly, uh, and this time I mean it lastly, um, I might be at Tyocon if they ever get back to me on the whole, um, if they ever get back to me on the whole volunteer thing. I will definitely be at, I will hopefully be at Comic-Con because, uh, um, my friends are planning, well, my Okay, confidentially speaking, I have a girlfriend. And she, um, my girlfriend, if you've seen this blog before, you'd know, you'd know these things. But yeah, my girlfriend and I are planning a little Comic-Con trip together. And we will be, uh, um, we will be, uh, um, Sharing a room, but for parents, don't get any funny ideas. Anyway, but yeah, the uh, I'm sharing a room with my girlfriend for the convention. 
we, she and I and a few and a couple of other people, you know who you are, will be uh, doing a group Black Butler cosplay. My girlfriend will be Undertaker. I will be uh, Grell, because you know Grell Taker is my favorite. <laughs> Okay, I can't believe I actually admitted that on camera. Okay, anyway. Point being, that's the update. I don't feel like typing at all. So, yeah. Uh, peace out. Big shout out to the whole, um, to the whole otaku committee. You guys rock. You're fabulous. <laughs> anyway. I will talk to you later. And I will I'll totally update this video blog someday. Hey, um, love you all. Bye bye.